Many switches and push buttons can only send one input to a simulator, which is very limiting because many actions require two different inputs, for example, gear up and gear down, or switching between two different operating modes. Although this can be done with software, using the method in this video with a relay is more realistic, more reliable, and requires no programming or extra configurations, just simple wiring. Videos like these can be very useful for the flight simulator and cockpit building communities, so please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Although you can easily purchase an SPDT switch, maybe you have a switch that you can only find in SPST configuration, or maybe you've already built your entire cockpit and don't feel like replacing your switches. So converting an SPST switch to an SPDT can be useful because it adds more inputs to your simulator and makes it more realistic. To further illustrate what we are trying to accomplish, this is what we see when we activate a single pole, single throw switch or push button on, then off, on, off. Now let's look at a single pole double throw switch. Here the handle is up, then down, up, down. Here is a list of the items we will need. A USB interface card, either a Leo Butner or an Arduino. In this video we will be using the Leo Butner BBI-32. A 5-pin single pole double throw 12 volt relay, but also a 5 volt relay can be used. Please make sure to always purchase high quality components rated for continuous operation. A power supply which matches the relay's voltage. Here we will be using a 12 volt power supply. Finally, switches or push buttons of your choice rated for DC. Before we get to the wiring, let's understand what the relay is doing. We will be using the contacts labeled normally open and normally closed. Normally open means that this side of the relay is not active when there is no power. But when the switch activates and allows the 12 volts to power the relay, a coil inside the relay moves the COM connection to the other side and activates the normally open connection. This is where we get our two inputs from. The wiring is as follows. First, we connect the negative wire on the power supply to the C2 pin on the relay. We then connect the positive wire to the negative or off side on the switch. The positive terminal or on side of the switch will connect to the C1 pin on the relay. The COM pin on the relay goes to a ground connection on the Leo Butner card. We then connect the normally open to B1 and normally closed to B2 or vice versa. Once you apply power and move the switch or press the push button, your Leo Butner card will pick up two inputs which you can now use in your simulator. If you want to save time on the wiring, you can look into relay kits. I have provided the links for these and all items in the video's description. You can also use relays to add switches and push buttons with LEDs. Please check out my other video on the subject and remember to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.